Hello, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a video talking about Diamox. Um, I have um, joined a couple support groups online about idiopathic and intracranial hypertension, and I've noticed that Diamox tends to get a bad rap. Um, I guess I could see how for some people, like different medications work differently. Um, so I thought I would just do a video <laughs> describing my symptoms and how Diamox affects me and why it works for me um, and all that. So let's start with um, my, uh, like when I started it, which was um, a couple months ago, I did my first lumbar puncture in the emergency room and my pressure was really, really high. So they relieved the pressure and they sent me home with Diamox. And I started off taking 500 milligrams of Diamox morning and night. And that was that. Um, when I first started, my symptoms were numbness um, in my mouth, in my fingers, in my feet. Um, if it was really, really cold, that numbness would be so painful. It felt like I had needles. So that was a pretty, like it was a bummer side effect. Um, also couldn't taste soda at all. I still can't. Um, uh, um, not aversions to food, but just food not sounding good, like being not in the mood to eat, um, food not tasting as good as it normally does. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, in the beginning, there was a, I had a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> it's probably TMI. A lot of stomach pains, um, especially when you're getting used to it and if you don't drink enough water. The biggest thing with Diamox is you have to stay hydrated and drink tons of water because you will have stomach pains if you don't, um, and it's kind of hard to fix it when you've already started having the stomach pains. So drinking tons of water, especially if you already had, if you start Diamox after a lumbar puncture, make sure you're hydrated because you're not only starting a pill that requires a lot of water, but your body's recovering from a lumbar puncture. So drink tons of water. Um, and for the most part, that's all the symptoms I've experienced in the beginning. Um, right after I had my lumbar puncture, there was a moment where we didn't know if I was having a spinal fluid leak, which after looking back, we were pretty sure that I did have one, but it was able to fix itself with just sheer bed rest um, that went away on its own. And um, so we did cut back on my Diamox and I had noticed um, as soon as the, the, the spinal fluid spot recovered, um, my pressure headaches skyrocketed. I had to be, um, they had to up my Diamox. After a couple of weeks, they came back and we had to up it again. And we basically kept doing that until we got to where I'm at now, which is a 2000 milligrams of Diamox. So a thousand in the morning, a thousand at night. And that's where I'm at now a couple months later. And for the most part, I, as far as pressure headaches go and vision issues, I'm pretty symptom free. Um, I do still have moments, like especially during that time of the month where your body's going through a lot of hormone shifts. Um, I tend to get higher pressure headaches, higher, I tend to have elevated pressure, so I get more pressure headaches. It affects my vision a little bit. Um, I finally have started to see some a little bit of improvement. Um, my ophthalmologist has said that my optic nerve looks a little bit better. He said it's still very swollen, but it looks better, which is great because for the longest time it was getting worse. Um, we are gonna, looks like I, I can't even talk. I've been doing some scans with my neurologist and it looks like I will be needing a stent. So he put in a referral for me to meet a specialist that I see tomorrow and he's gonna, he or she, I don't know, I'm gonna meet that doctor tomorrow and we're gonna go over, um, what further testing needs to be done to see if I qualify for a stent. So currently, even when I have, um, a rise in symptoms, I'm probably gonna be stuck at 2000 milligrams of Diamox until I can um, get my stent placed. And hopefully if the stent works for me, I can wean off of Diamox. Um, as far as how it's affecting me now, months later, I don't really get diarrhea anymore at all. Um, I need to be more hydrated, but I don't have issues where if I don't drink enough water, like I don't get pains anymore. That was really just the first few weeks. I can't taste soda. I do have sinus issues, so it's hard to know if that's related to the Diamox or not, but I've heard other people without my sinus issues have that happen with Diamox. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I am having a bad asthma day. But yeah, so 
Can't taste soda or carbonation at all. It kind of tastes metallic. It's like the best way to describe it. Still get pins and needles. However, I do live in California, so my winters are fairly short, so that doesn't affect me much. But if you live in a colder area, definitely get some gloves and like bundle up and get a nice warm fluffy blanket to at least get you through the winter because um, it, it is very painful if your fingers get to the point because they just get worse and worse and it actually feels like you're being stabbed. Um, I think that's it as far as symptoms that have stayed with me. So let me know if Diamox has helped you and let me know um, what dosage you're on. Um, and if it didn't work for you, let me know why you think it didn't work for you. Um, I know some people, they need Topamax. Like Diamox is not enough and it's not going to treat their symptoms. So let me know how it works for you or did not work for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.